and we've already bottomed pie cycle top indicator has already shown we've had a cross bottom has been indicated it's been perfect we're on the upswing here guys we got rate cuts coming next month it's gonna be phenomenal i'm not a financial advisor <laughs> blackrock biddle lead surge tokenized treasury funds across two billion dollars Look at this, driven by rapid growth in offerings like their Biddle Fund. According to data released by RWA.xyz, the surge highlights the increased popularity of digital re representations of government bonds. Milestone was reached just five months after reaching the $1 billion mark, and I want to show some stuff here right here. Shortly after its release, BlackRock's fund accumulated more than $500 million in market cap, taking the lead in tokenized treasuries competition. It was followed by Franklin Templeton's on-chain U.S. government money fund, or FABX, and Ondo's, Ondo Finance's USDY, USDY it is, that's correct. BlackRock has recently overtaken Grayscale as the largest holder of on-chain assets through its exchange trade funds, or ETFs, marked a major shift in the change of, or a major shift in the digital asset space. So, guys, just continue to follow Ondo. This is telling you where the money's going. The money isn't even here in crypto now. That's the exciting thing is, you know, we don't really have a bull market that has started yet. That first one was actually just a gigantic bull trap to a new all-time high, actually, that was just set to be a pre-having pump. And because of the ETF news, it did carry itself farther. And this does say... Hey, maybe is this going to tend for us to carry further with altcoins in the entire market? I, you know, I mean, I think the numbers are going to be what they're going to be: one hundred and fifty thousand dollars for Bitcoin, approximately, and then everything else we'll just have to see. This is a big story, though. I definitely want to hit this. Stablecoin metrics continue to set all-time highs. Dry powder accumulating for Bitcoin. You go all the way back to two thousand seventeen, guys. It's a very simple format. Okay, very simple format. When Tether and USDC in the later years are printing grants that are basically tickets for people to, re their redemption tickets, that your tether does equal $1, USD does equal $1. There is actually a process of actually exchanging these grants, but that's done by the companies, by the exchanges. You don't ever even see any of that stuff. That's why when the price goes, you know, all of a sudden it drops and they stop honoring these redemptions and it gets real crazy. Or that, that could lead to a bank run on Tether. And that's what everybody's always been real, real scared about. But the fact is, it always works the same way. Going all the way back to 2017, when they're printing these grants, that train's coming. That train is coming. That's why they're doing it. They're doing it because they're anticipating the surge in volume. That's why there's so much more Tether out there. Right? So now, stablecoin metrics are reaching new all-time highs themselves. Supply-related metrics have continued their uptrend. So let's take a look at some of these. This right here is, let's see, this is all stablecoin supply. You can see the Tether supply in green. You can see the Binance supply in purple. They're anticipating big moves back up to these levels right now. The graph shows that all three metrics have moved upwards and recently set new records. So well, I don't have to go into all of this and why this is so important right now because we're going to move on to the next part of the show, but just know it is very important and it's very bullish. It's very bullish for the longer term. We're not worried about Bitcoin going to $60,000. We're not worried about it dipping back to $58,000. I don't think it's going to do it. I think 60 is about where it's probably going to bounce, but I thought 62 was a good spot and it broke that support. So, you know, it's probably going to be a little bit lower. We've already bottomed Pi Cycle Top indicator has already shown we've had a cross bottom has been indicated it's been perfect i think for its history pretty much it doesn't mean it's the exact bottom it means that it has already bottomed and, and so we're on the upswing here guys we got rate cuts coming next month it's going to be phenomenal you got to keep that positive attitude guys we're going to speak this into existence it is going to happen we're having this bull run it's starting in the fall and we're going to watch the number the number is going to be important and you know i told you, you know what's really interesting is i said last time i said the date was the most important then we got to the date and I was like, but it didn't hit the number. <laughs> and then I was wrong. This time I'm telling you, it's the number that is more important than the date because they're not going to allow Bitcoin to go above $150,000, okay? They're not, they're just not, people control finance, they're not. It might spike 160, maybe it could spike to 180, maybe. It's coming right back down. 150 is a target, and then it'll go back into a bear market like normal. It's going to have normal four years again, guys. Welcome to it, it's gonna happen. And I believe that with a lot of confidence now that I understand the game of making things look normal, and I understand why they hold stuff back. Why, why will they not let it go over 150? Why? Because they want another four years of it. So it's actually good. So when you see these points that they won't put it above, that's good for us. We're in the know. All these people that are about to come in, they're going to get wrecked over and over and over again. And we're going to laugh at them. But we're going to encourage them and tell them we love them. Because we do. Because 
Most of you were them four years ago, and now look at you. Now look at you. You know, you've grown up. You've, I'll, you've I'll unbuttoned another shirt, or, or unbuttoned another button. What? Uh, yeah, I feel like every segment you've got to unbutton a button. <laughs> That's a good one.